Hello everyone. So finally going to take a little bit of time and dive into all of the mirror sunglass options. I've been talking about doing this for a while, but now I've got enough different samples here. It's actually worth playing with the idea. So quick concept base. All these lenses are going to be on a gray or a brown base. We'll go for each different set so you can get kind of an idea and a feel of what makes each of these different. So what's kind of tricky about the mirrored front surface lenses, first of all, they look cool. That's you know, kind of its own plus, but they actually all serve a purpose. The front side mirror is going to reflect away a lot with the same wavelength and color as what that mirror is. So even though the base color, even if you go through all the grays, you'll find there's a slight deviation in the true color you see looking through the lenses. That's why I always ask what you're using them for. It does make a difference, believe it or not. You guys may think I'm crazy. That's probably true, but that's not really what matters here. Because I have lost my mind doing this for so long. Okay, so traditional gray lenses, very color neutral, works in a lot of different situations, really good for bright light. Brown bases are going to be contrast enhancing. They're gonna make greens and reds pop a little bit more. And I say that with a catch because, as I mentioned earlier, these different mirror colors are gonna reflect away certain spectrums of light. So if you put a red mirror on a brown base, you're gonna lose that red enhancing feature Greens are going to pop a little bit more. Yeah, that's all for now on that. But, so the one I actually have on here, we'll run through brown first because why not? So, this one is actually a great example. This is a transition lens with a brown photochromic effect. So, as these darken, the lenses will turn brown. But what you'll see right off, the lenses have a very, very slight blue hue to them when they're clear. And that's because of the mirror. It's reflecting away some of that warm yellow light. So the lenses appear more cool, thus more blue. I can't get it. Yeah, no, you're out of luck. Can't make it work. But you can see that. There we go. Get close enough, you'll see it cools things down a bit because you're blocking some of that yellow orange spectrum. That on a sun lens, of course, when darkened, nice and gorgeous little 14 karat gold with some exclusive mirrors. It's gonna be fancier. But what you get on that, when it's fully darkened, you'll see you get a nice, nice warm effect. So it really hands, it enhances that contrast, makes the reds and greens pop, really tops up that effect you would normally get from a brown lens. Works really good in mid and low light, but because of that strong reflectance of the mirror on this particular one, works well in high light as well. Just a ton of advantages going with a combination like this because you're enhancing the effects of a lens that's already designed to enhance contrast. Great way to go about it there. Plus, it's one of my favorite as far as the look, aside from the blue. I'm always going to love blue mirrors, it's my thing. This one they call citron. So you'll see you get that nice deep red center, kind of flares out to that more traditional gold. And that's really to get a good red. You've got to have some gold in there. You're just not going to get the full effect out of it. It's just what causes that red coloration. But this one is, again, right? looks different, but we're still on that same brown base, but we get a whole different color effect out of it because of the way that mirror is reflecting the red light spectrum away. So it doesn't look like a traditional brown lens. Tricky, but something to keep in mind. Then we'll go on to Jade, which is a gorgeous little coloration. So this one is very soft green center, kind of tapers out to a blue-violet color. This is one of those that's really great out on the water, open ocean, things like that. But you'll see this one. So you've got that deeper, more rich brown because we're blocking the greens. You get a slight red shift there. And that's why it's really nice out on the water because you get a lot of blue-green reflection from the water. You combine this with a polarized lens, really cuts down that glare works great. That's why you'll see a mirror like that on a lot of coasters, because that's their whole thing. 
The next one is just a more intense version of the same. This one is the coastal green. That is just, like I said, more intense mirror effect of the same color pattern as the jade. So you'll see again, it's darkened down a little bit more, but you still have, that is really not a good representation of the color on these. So I'll see if I can get a picture of that later. But let's see, basically like jade just enhances a little bit more. And then we'll go more into the blue family, more my favorite. So this one is the sapphire. I've worn one like this before. I wasn't really a fan of it because it just doesn't have that same effect as the darker, what you might call a dielectric or a cobalt blue. So it's nice, it's really soft, but the way it works, you get a very, very, very dark brown effect. So it enhances contrast, but it just it's something not quite there. It's not my favorite. They recommend it in foggy, hazy snow, golfing, fishing, so a little bit of everything, and I kind of agree with that. It's going to work well in a lot of different situations. Personally, I'm just not fond of the way things look in that exact combination. So now we'll jump into the grays. These are all going to be more color neutral, and let's start back in the red spectrum here. So with the gray, let's see. A little bit different effect there. You get almost a blue looking lens. And that's the same thing as before. You're blocking the red spectrum of light from passing through. So you're shifting that gray to more of a gray blue. And you'll see, there we go. It's very nice and soft, darkens things up a little bit. And the way this one works, this is called Pyro. It has that dark violet center, tapers out to a red, almost kind of a starburst effect. Very cool, but again, for that proper red, you'll see if you get the right angle, you're going to pick up some of that gold orange color. Again, that's just the makeup of the metallic compound that makes that red appearance on the front surface. This is a great lens for a lot of different situations. I love a red more for cosmetics than actual uses. Again, that's just me. We all have different preferences on what we like. I think they look really cool, but I don't like to wear them. So is what it is there. Plus I don't particularly look good in that shade of red. And then this one is more of your standard gray. This is for those people that want gray, dark, deep, rich lens without a ton of reflectance, but they're going to be out in bright light all the time, or a lot of the time. What it amounts to is, they call this the black mirror. What it is, it's a very low reflecting silver mirror, so it looks like a really nice black paint job on that hot rod you've got hiding in the garage. Don't lie to me, I know you do. Mine are all red, so whatever. But, just a very great neutral, soft gray option. Works good, darkens things up. The black mirror isn't gonna shift colors at all because it's gonna reflect all spectrum of light equally. Works great, neutral lens. Love it. That's a great one to do on a transitions combination because you get just the soft white reflectance on the lens when it's clear. As it darkens, it's going to become more of that black true mirror. So that is a great way to go about it if you're a little bit more outdoors, but indoors most of the time you still want that cool flash when you're outdoors in a clear pair. That's the most versatile one to do if you're going to go that direction and try to rely on one pair for all situations. Still not ideal, but it works. And that's the best way to do that. So, next is the traditional blue flash mirror. This one's going to trip you up a little bit. So this is on a gray base. You've got that rich, dark blue, but it's at a lower reflectance level. Usually going to be in the 20-30% range, which is what constitutes a flash mirror most of the time. This one you'll see, you've got a little bit more of a warm color shift. Again, blocking blue light will do that. Anybody tells you they can block blue light without even the slightest shift in color, yeah, I have my feelings about what to say about that, but we'll hold that for now. So, even in a gray lens with a blue mirror, you do get some, just a little bit more warm shift there. Really good neutral lens, a lot of good uses for that. I love it. As I've mentioned, the blue is my favorite. I usually do it on a brown base. Enhances that depth and contrast even more. Blocks that bright, dazzling blue spectrum. 
It's just a great lens. A lot of different uses. Really good, comfortable. And speaking of, here is the darker blue. So this is the Midnight Blue. This one is my personal favorite. Again, as I mentioned, I normally wear it on a brown base, but that's me. I do things different. So, you'll see that really nice, rich blue color on a gray base. But again, because of that reflectance, you get just the slightest warm shift in that one. Excellent lens, excellent color, great fashion statement. I love it. Next one is one we're going to see pretty soon. It's going to look really cool. I just did this in one of the vinylized frames. Actually, I can't wait to see it. It's done in a gradient lens. It's going to look amazing. But this is the lilac. You'll see it is just a very soft purple. Exactly like what you would expect a lilac to be. Done on a gray base. Not much of a color shift. It's pretty neutral because this one's more silver. You'll see that change in a second as we move to violet. So this is more of the same as lilac, deeper coloration, stronger flash, and you'll see almost looks blue on this screen, but it's not. And there you go. So this is still on a gray base. This is, as I mentioned, things get trippy quick when you do different mirrors. So you get to the edge of it, you can still see where it's a little bit more purple there. You get closer to that true gray, but in the center, yeah, it's got more of that warm shift to it. So, blocking blue violet light. Great, great stuff. This is a good one to use for driving, actually. On a gray or brown base, it's still going to heighten contrast. It's going to block that dazzling light from the blue spectrum. Just a great, comfortable lens to wear. So, there's a quick overview of a handful of mirrors I've got. Any questions, comments, drop them down below. I'll answer them as best as I can. And if you have any suggestions for the next video, reach out. I'll get it taken care of. You guys take care. See you next time.